Hello DC fans, this is JAR369. Welcome back for another figure review. Today I'll be taking a look at the DC Multiverse Batman v Superman Lex Luthor by Mattel. Take a look at the packaging here. It's just a usual DC Multiverse packaging wise. You get the Batman v Superman logo on the top. It is recommended for ages 4 plus. DC Multiverse, DC Comics Multiverse, blah blah blah. And also still have that sticker that I paid for. It's basically three bucks. Originally priced five bucks and now three dollars. Not bad for a bad looking figure. And you get a nice image of Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor. And you get Batman v Superman, Lex Luthor, Collect and Connect with the Grapplo Blaster replica. On the side, you get an image of Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor, and also otherwise, there's a little bio about the movie. If you want to read it, go ahead, pause the, the video. And on the back here, it shows you the collect connect piece for the figure, for the piece, the replica. Other figures from this line, like Superman, Batman, which is I did review a while ago, Wonder Woman, Armored Batman, Lex Luthor, Nightmare Batman. Met the Bat Creature or Man Bat for many fans and Aquaman. To be honest, for the uh, Bat, they made a Bat Creature that only appeared like about minutes of screen time, which is actually the weakest toy ever made by Mattel. Well, Aquaman, well, he did appear in a cameo for about a few minutes. I thought he might be like a full character, but nope, he appears in a cameo. Don't you hate it when there's a toy from? That is first promoted from the movie, and then there's a toy of it, and then later on when you watch the film. Yeah, that's a cameo. So that's about it for the packaging. Now let's release Lex Luthor out of the package. So here we got Lex Luthor out of the package. Now take a look at the head scope here. Come on. Focus, focus. There we go. Now the head scope on the figure, it looks nothing like Jesse Eisenberg. I mean, the, the figure itself looks nothing like him. Well, pretty not. It looks nothing. Seriously, it looks nothing like him. It just looks like Adam Driver, at all. It just looks like, exactly like Adam Driver. Now for the outfit here, it is kind of generally boring because the out. This is not the outfit that appeared in the actual movie. It's a different outfit, but not this outfit at all. Seriously. It looks nothing like the outfit here. From the actual film. Now, for the jacket here. You can see the jacket is in the... Um, I mean, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like that. Or Mattel just basically just ruins the, um, the jacket. Uh, who knows? Probably I'll fix that with hot boiling water. Now you can see some painted buttons on there, and there's also like the holes, the, the sculpted holes that holds on the jacket. And you get some pockets there. And also you get little buttons on the sleeves on each of the arms. You can see one shirt's tucked out while the other's is not. And you get the little buckle there. And you can see the little sculpted fly there, and also you get the little string right there. Nothing much on the pants there. Uh, the shoes, you know, you get his usual iconic shoes that he truly wears, but there's like the shoelaces molded in there. And the bottom, there's some legal crap and pegos in the bottom of the feet. The figure, I mean, it just looks like a boring character than the actual character itself. I mean, it just looks like one of the business people at Wayne's Corp instead of being Lex Luthor. Articulation wise, head to go full of rotate. Go down this high and up that much. Arms go full and rotate. They go forward and back. In and out. Upper arm rotation. Then at the elbows. Wrist can rotate. There's an ab crunch movement. Waist rotation. Legs go forward and back. In and out. Upper leg rotation. Then at the elb knee and his ankles. And they go pivot forward back. And that's about it. So he does not came with any accessories at all, seriously. For for a while he does came with the the piece of a grapple gun. 
I do have like the Batman with the crapple gun, bat symbol, state, splay stand, whatever. I'm pretty sure I might build this in case if I find any of figures like Wonder Woman, Superman, Nightmare Batman, and all the figures that I want to complete the um, a normal armor Batman figure. If I can find them and get a cheap, a reasonable bulk price. So overall, for this figure, uh, I mean it's it's a weak figure to be honest. This this figure is weak. I mean, it just looks like a normal, generic business guy instead of being Lex Luthor. The head sculpt looks nothing like Lex Luthor at all. It looks nothing like Jesse Neisenberg. It just looks like Adam Driver. But there is also like a DC collectibles, Batman v Superman Lex Luthor, that DC collectibles are going to release. But it just got cancelled. I have no idea why it got cancelled. For I mean, the figure just got cancelled for no reason. I mean, if DC Collectibles released the Lex Luthor from Batman v Superman instead of this piece of crap, then we'll be more happier that that version than what we got from Mattel. <sighs> yeah, from my mind, I'm gonna I'm gonna get this figure a solidly three out of three. No, 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 a two. Out no, no, not two, but a one. No, no, a zero out of ten. Yeah, a 0 out of 10. So that's about it. Make sure to tune in for new videos daily. Don't forget to turn on the bell icon to be notified new videos after you subscribe. And of course, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both the links will be in the description down below. So that's about it. This is JAR369 and goodbye.